a Hoosier grandma is a huge hit at the Soapbox Derby, and she's even making some history. New this morning, John shows us the uphill battle she had to face before kickstarting those downhill adventures. Who would have knew? Me going down that hill would be causing all of this. She doesn't back down from anything. I believe if you just keep going and doing things, you can. A lot of stuff is psychological. Deborah Houston's trips down the Wilbur Shaw Soapbox Derby Hill have made her somewhat of a legend at the track. Once I went down that hill and said, wee, that was it. At 59, she's the oldest Soapbox Derby racer ever. There's no other name to call me but the Soapbox Granny. But she got into it on accident, bringing her grandchildren to the track last summer. Anything I can do to get them off these computers all the time and off those phones, I will do. But Houston ended up getting hooked herself. The chemo, the appointments, all of that just took my my man off of all of that. At the time, she was battling cervical cancer, but continued to show up and race with her grandchildren. I had to show them too, you know, that you don't let something get you down. You keep going, you just keep going, and you can be and do anything. Houston's story went national and eventually reached the Indianapolis Motor Speedway, where she'll wave the green flag at Thursday's Indy 500 practice session. When people wave that flag, I've never known nobody, just a, a regular person wave that flag. You must be a celebrity. I said, well. <laughs> <laughs> I guess I'll be out there maybe signing some few autographs or something. Earlier this year, Houston was informed she was cancer free. But a few weeks ago, doctors discovered uh, the cancer was back, so this time finances. in her lungs. I'm having surgery, chemo, and radiation. But nothing seems to keep her down. I'm a fighter. I'm a, I'll fight to the to end. I'll go up kicking. I don't have a lot of lung usage right now, but I'm not on oxygen. I'm not in a wheelchair. I didn't feel that great this morning, but I got on up. And nothing can keep the soapbox granny away from the track. Are you still racing this summer? Oh, yeah. Yeah, no stopping her. Houston will attend her first Indy 500 race this year as a very special guest. Also, her soapbox derby car will be on display at the track today as well as race day. I was asked, asked her to, to get a look at it yesterday, but she said it was getting a brand new paint job uh, for its big next couple of weeks ahead. Guys. John, great story. Yeah. And, I mean, just, she's <laughs> so full of energy and so full of life. Thank you so much for bringing her. And I'm thinking we need to get her next to Danica in the pace car, you know. Ooh, that, maybe be, that'll happen. That'd be, that'd be nice. Douglas Bowles Jr. Yeah. There you go. We got a little idea for you. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs>